union of Igbo's elders, known as Oanezende Igbo worldwide, has pointed accusing fingers against northern sociocultural groups over President Muhammadu Buhari's refusal to grant the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Namde Kano, unconditional release from custody. President Buhari has ruled out any possibility of a political solution to Kano's case, stating that the that it will not interfere with the judiciary and that the IPOP leader must face consequences for his statement against Nigeria. Reacting to this, Oanese alleged that the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, and the Northern Elders Forum are responsible for Namde Kano's continued detention because of their interior motive to destabilize the southeastern region of Nigeria ahead of the 2023 general elections. In the statement signed by the group's Secretary Okechuku Isiguzoru, Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, and Northern Elders Forum, NEF, are behind President Buhari's refusal to grant Namde Kano a political solution with the evil intent to disorganize and set the Southeast ablaze ahead of the 2023 presidency. He continued, Namde Kano's trial will bring the untold tragedy of tensions and disastrous violence to the Southeast. Meanwhile, the Igbo leaders in the statement expressed optimism that Mazunan Kano's detention might prepare him as the next leader of the Igbo race. Hmm. Okay. I don't know whether you think Ebuari, when the Igbo's, Igbo elders met with Buari, when he was saying that he will, he will consider their request, he will think about it. So you think he meant it. He just... It was just being diplomatic. He will just release a Namde Kano like that. So to me, I don't think it's a... They are all the same. So I don't think it's a Arewa people that made a Buhari not to release him Namde Kano. No. It is not... I don't, I don't believe so. Buhari did not and never had a plan of releasing Namde Kano. If you can hear what he said now, that a, a, because of a, a somebody who has been saying all manner of things against the country that he should go and answer for himself and just like i've been saying and even ipo uh, lawyers have put me proved me right saying the man is ready ever ready they are ever ready to to go to court so they are not uh, running in the, running away they are prepared fully prepared it is the government that is pussy footy so and like i said oh and they they are just doing what they they're supposed to do at uh, this later hour because if they are stood by these people from the beginning i don't think all of this is, would have gotten to this level to the extent of proscribing them but this government you cannot trust them enough the more you look the less you see but as far as the area con uh, is concerned all those there and i don't think so the government the buari and the presidency they already had their their plan sorted out before now so all those ones say they're just adding to that not that they went to go and meet him or whatever if you are holding anybody responsible, it should be Malami. Or Malami, they call him. He's the one who is behind this whole thing. Well, Mazin Namde Kano is already victorious. <laughs> if that is true, it's because they have a concern over his unruly intention behavior that caused the death and destruction of properties of their people. Why must such person go so free? He is not yet convicted. Now. So why are you calling him a, 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 a criminal? then you should ask yourself that why is this, this uh, delaying why is this court proceeding delaying why are they delaying it why is it that they have not been able to get done of this whole thing well god almighty has a financy it is only him that we say a word and it's come to pass buhari has no right to free nam the canoe then buhari should hasten up and let them judge this man's case why Allow now the cattle to defend himself in courts. What is the work of lawyers? Okay. Well, the issue is that um, there are so many northern leaders, criminals, even in various prisons, serving as governors, government DGs are never free. Why would Nam the cattle be free? Then you should tell the government. That is what I'm just surprised. I'm surprised at this whole thing. Nam the cattle is there. I don't know why the delay in the first place the lawyers have come out to say he would dare he would defend himself the day the dead worry that he, this man would defend himself don't blame northern groups over refusal to free namde kano but blame those our governors and judas 
saboteurs who thought that they will give a slot of governorship and presidential ticket of Niger. And the governors can never support an illegal group. Which illegal group? Hear you. Most of you just see what you write to mock the Igbo over Namdekano. You don't know what you are talking about. The North will suffer the consequences. Igbo leaders in National Assembly are cowardice. Let them be wise as an Igbo man. Everybody just fighting for his pocket. Every one of them is fighting for their uh, pockets. That's it. Even this Oranese, I don't know when they just took it upon themselves because uh, things have become, you know, things have gone beyond what they planned for. That is why they are not coming out now. Are they not all selfish? All of them. They are all selfish. Nobody is thinking about how the masses will be better. The lives of the masses will be better. All they think is, oh, because of a presidency, because of a, this position, because of that position, that is just what they are concerned about. I agree you people not a unity beggars anymore. Population that contributes little, little um, or nothing in Nigeria economic, but take the largest part of our common resources. You begin to ask the leaders in the south, southern part of the country, then what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they not aware of all these things? The same thing we have been saying. This is all about selfishness. They don't care. They don't care. Mm. They don't care. All they care is how to get juicy position. Well, from inception, the federal government of Nigeria usually destroy uh, Indigo to satisfy Northerners. The North advertised to pay hundreds of millions of naira to whoever arrested Namde Kanu. This federal government to satisfy them went to Kenya and arrest Kanu, maltreat him and how and brought him back to Nigeria illegally, half dead, to satisfy the North. The federal government key hundreds of millions of Indigo simply because Indigo started implementing the agreement reached, reached Indigo. Ojuku and F federal government go one in Aburi, Ghana, and so on. Sovereign state of Biafra cannot be stopped. It can just be delayed. It can just be delayed. Well, Buari is working with what Northern Group said, and the Southern leaders are working with what Hypop said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Divide this country. Who is going to divide it? That is a no, no go. It's a no, no, no. <laughs> it's a no go area to divide this country. These people. Oh my goodness. But I believe that there's nothing God cannot do. Everything seems so difficult. The people are passing through hell. When God is ready to do what He needs to do, believe you me, all of them they will be like just the like just like the Bible says that if we use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, those who think they are they are wise, they have that wisdom. It is just little thing like this. Eh? They are gone for that. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.